This is a balloon filled with butane gas. When I light it with a match, it blows up, as a regular balloon would. But as you can see, there's no flames. Boring. If I take another balloon and I fill it with air and butane gas, the result is more spectacular. And that's because combustion requires air, or more specifically, oxygen. If somehow I can find a constant source of air, I mix it with butane gas and I light it up, that should give me a perpetual source of combustion. Or in other words, a jet engine. And do you know what puts out a lot of air? This is my grandfather Ermindo, and every single day would ride his bicycle to pick up tomatoes so he could smash them for sport. The truth is that my grandfather was not a great rider. He got into a lot of accidents, but he did leave that bicycle to me. So my plan is to turn my leaf blower into a jet engine and strap it to my grandfather's bicycle. First of all, I screwed an MDF board to the bicycle where I placed my leaf blower. That was really easy. Next, I needed a casing. Okay, so for the body of the engine, I'm gonna use uh, one of these steel pipes that I use in fireplaces as the exhaust. Yeah, seems pretty sturdy. Just need to cut it to size, and that's basically it. Let's do that. Look, it's a tube! <laughs> yeah, but to make a casing, I need more than just a tube. So I cut some sheet steel metal, and I made a lid. Okay, so we have our lid. Um, the lid is gonna go on top of the tube. I'm gonna weld it here. Uh, and for the nozzle, I'm gonna use this. This is a can of uh, lighter fluid. It's filled with butane gas um, and it's perfect for the nozzle. I just need to empty it out first. Wait a second. So if this is filled with uh, liquid butane gas, I wanna see if the liquid butane gas is actually flammable. Oh, that was scary. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Butan! Butane! Butani! Butan! Butano! Time to weld. Now I have a casing, and I could just attach it to the leaf blower, insert a butane line, and boom, jet engine. The problem with that idea is that the air comes out of the leaf blower at a very high speed, and might just blow out the flame. Instead, I decided to build a secondary combustion chamber with many holes, so the air slows down and gets evenly distributed. To build said combustion chamber, I used very thin sheet steel metal, and a crappy spot welder that I built a few videos ago. It's still metal. Time to use the big boy. It's metal bending time! That was a little bit anticlimactic.
Pada pada. Juku juku ju. Ayo. That's pretty good. Nice job, Joel. Now I need to place this in here and weld it. Let's keep moving. The injector is gonna go here into the combustion chamber. And now I'm gonna fit all of this into the casing. And it's a perfect match. Beautiful. So this is the same ignition I used in the other jet engine. It's basically a high voltage generator and some batteries and a switch. Which if I turn on... Yep. Pretty powerful. Now I'm gonna apply this on the engine. I connected that to a homemade spark plug and welded it to the engine. Then I 3D printed an adapter that I used to connect the engine to the leaf blower. And ta-da! Jet engine bicycle. You hear that? Okay. Let's put it in the minimum. So for some reason the engine wasn't starting and that reason was that even in the lowest setting the leaf blower was blowing out the flame. To make sure this was the case I asked Joseph, say hi Joseph, hi Joseph, to remove the tube and only connect it partially and that actually worked pretty well. To actually fix the air issue, I bought a Chinese speed controller so I could start the leaf blower at the lower speed and thus achieve ignition. So I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the engine ran so hot that this, the, the welding, the metal welding that was around the tube, the exhaust tube, just dripped down. It started melting. Yeah. I think I need to replace this. So, to deal with the temperature, I welded these reams of steel into the exhaust pipe to see if it can hold on. I hope it doesn't melt. I'm gonna test it again now. As you can see the exhaust is completely destroyed, I'm not gonna get away with just using a can. I need a, a proper uh, tube of steel, a thick one, and maybe then this will work. But for now, I need an exhaust. Do I though? Do I need an exhaust? Well, the answer to that question is no. I don't need an exhaust. All I need is a hole. So I remove the exhaust altogether. With the jet bicycle properly working, I went outside and, well, give it a test. Hello, we are about to test the bike. It's a really sunny day, really beautiful. Perfect for a jet engine. Yeah, this is on. So far so good, it's working well. I mean, not going Mach 1 or something like that, but uh, yeah, it's, propel it's propelling the, the bicycle, so it's good. Okay. Ready? It 
super ready. We have ignition! So far, so good. I'm alive, which is nice. I'm not used to having so many cameras. Are you ready, Mr. Detector? Yes, I'm ready. Please, give me ignition. Okay, so maybe my jet bicycle is not the fastest two-wheeler to ever hit the roads, but it's still pretty nice. And I also think that my grandfather would be proud. As always, I'm leaving all the 3D files and 2D templates in the description of the video. Apart from that, I'm also giving away a 3D printer. On my last video, I gave away a 3D printer to the most liked comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The winner was Mason, and he gave some suggestions on how to improve my hydrogen peroxide turbine. Unfortunately, Mason didn't claim the 3D printer. Which means that if he doesn't do so within two weeks, well, on my next video I'll be giving away two 3D printers. Get on with it, Mason! To win a 3D printer, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will receive a brand new 3D printer. Um, well, this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya! Before you go, don't forget to use the link in the description, omaze.com slash integza, for the chance to win a Tesla Model X plane. Godspeed, and see you soon!